Greetings, it's Andy here. Who doesn't love a first impression? Who doesn't love to know what someone thinks of the job they've done? Of course, we all do. And that's even more so in hospitality. You want to know when your guest has arrived or shortly thereafter, what they think, what their first impressions are. Why? Not so there's some vanity pat on the back, nice five stars, although you can do that. The most important thing really is to be able to head off any issue if it arises. So if someone's left you a negative uh, first impression, two stars or three stars, it will enable you to call them and to get in front of the issue before it becomes too late. So how does this all work? I'm gonna remove myself. You'll still hear me, but you won't see me. So here I am. Uh, here's a topic in which the first impressions is loaded. It looks and feels like much, much like any other touch day topic with the exception it has a button here. Like any other topic, all these things can be edited. You can change the photo, you can add a video, you can change the text, you can change the wording on your button here, you can change the title, etc. The color is your brand color. So whatever brand colors you've chosen to add to touch day, that's what these will default to. So your guest reads this and says, okay, I'm gonna leave a rating. So they click that. Star rating here they get to choose. So let's say they add, um, four, no, let's go for five. Of course, they're all gonna add five, aren't they? And then they leave a comment, optional by the way, and then they have to leave their first name, last name, phone number, and email. The only two mandatory fields are the first name and the phone number. Why? Because those are the two core fields you will need if there is a problem. You want to be able to get in touch with that guest right away. Uh, so if they leave a one star rating and some comments, you really want to know who they are and what their phone number is. They click submit. That's it, done. Once they do that, it will send an email to wherever you specified and you can get it sent to more than one email address. So it could get it sent to you and also your cleaner or someone else. And it will tell you the name of the guest, their rating, um, their phone number and their email address, the property they're staying at too, enabling you to do something about the information you've just received. So the question is, how does this work? How can you set it up? So back here in Content Hub, you can actually add the first impressions wherever you want in the guide. Why? Because, look here, add topic. It's just another topic option now. You'll see first impressions topic. By the way, there is a rating topic too. That's the subject of a separate video. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, in my arrival section, add a new subcategory. And as you've seen, you don't have to do this bit. You could just add the first impressions wherever else you've already got information, but I'm gonna add it to somewhere new. I'm gonna create that new, tell us your first impressions subcategory. And underneath here, I'm going to add the first impressions topic. I'm gonna to leave the wording as it is, but you could change it. I'm gonna leave the text as it is. Again, you could change it. I'm gonna leave the photo as it is. Again, you could change it, or you could add a video. And the video could say, hello, we're really, really glad to have you here. We'd really like to know what your first impressions are so that we can do blah, 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 you get the point. Plenty of options for you. The only thing you need to do is to tell Touchday where you want this email to be sent to, where you want this information to be sent to. So just pop your email address in there, click add. You can add as many emails as you want. Um, look, I'll show you. If I do andy at touchday.com and click add, it pops in underneath here. I then could do info at touchday.com and it would add that underneath here too. You can add as many as you want. That will mean that the information gets sent to these two emails or the emails you've specified. Useful for you to know, but maybe if it goes to a cleaner for the cleaner to do something about it. A couple of advanced options. You can change the name of the button and you can also change the title just sitting above the star rating to whatever you want. Of course, you can change the text and as we've said, the photo or video too. An advanced feature here is that some people have told us they would like also to collect emails from their guests for future marketing purposes. So you can use this first impressions topic for that purpose. So there's a, there's a question here. Will you use the emails collected for marketing purposes? By default, it's no, just because it's nice and easy for you to implement this without having to worry too much about making a decision. You can change this later, by the way. If you wanted to say, yes, I do want to collect emails for marketing purposes, then it will ask you for your privacy policy because you need to tell your guests what you're going to do with their information. So if you are going to say yes, you are going to have to put a link to your privacy policy. And if you don't have one, you're going to need to create one to put it in here. Um, if you can't be bothered with any of that or you don't need that, then just click no. You don't have to do that. By default, it's no. And therefore, you're not using uh, the emails for marketing. You're just simply using this as a first impressions form. The final bit you need to do is obviously submit it. In other words, to save it. I have multiple guides in my account. For those of you who've got multiple guides, just click all guides and it will send it to all of them instantly. Click submit. You're done.